Hello everyone, welcome to harshgandhi.in. Today's tutorial is a bit different than usual in that I will be showing you how to mine cryptocurrency on your Orange Pi Zero. Before we begin, there are a few questions that might pop up into your mind which need to be addressed. Question number one. Now you must be wondering what coin in the world is still mineable on CPU in the end of 2017 or beginning of 2018 depending on when you watch this video. Well, you might be surprised that there is in fact still few currencies that are mineable on CPUs which have not yet been designed for GPU or ASIC mining. This means that even though you have a small CPU with normal computing power, you will still be able to mine the coin. Second question or second point is to wonder what kind of hash rate you are going to expect on Orange Pi Zero seeing that it is such a small CPU and even smaller RAM. Even though you won't be able to compete with the top dogs such as Bitcoin, Litecoin or Ethereum, it is still possible to mine in the altcoin domain. There are many altcoins which have very small mining hash rates overall and you can try your luck over there. Third and most important topic is whether you will be able to make money off of our adventure. At this point, I feel it is important to let you all know that the profits will be very limited when we will be working on proof of work. But we will not be limiting ourselves to just proof of work. We will also look at proof of stake where once you have some coins accumulated for long enough period, it starts to provide interest on its own. Now that all these things in mind, we have selected coin Maggie as a preferred coin of our project. It works on M7M hash algorithm and runs only on CPU and requires very little RAM to run. You can learn all other technical details on http colon slash slash mcore.org. You will also need a good CPU miner that can give a decent hash rate on your Orange Pi Zero. I noticed while playing around with many CPU miners that the one provided by mcore is latest but not so good when it comes to hash rate on Orange Pi Zero. Instead, we will be using Wolf M7M CPU miner. I have already forked the miner code so that the link will be easy to remember and it is now in my GitHub repository. Now let's get started. First, you will need to install Ambient based on Debian Jesse on your Orange Pi Zero and SSH into it. As you can see, I have SSH. It is Ambient 5.2. 3.1 stable debian jesse if you do not know how to do this check out my previous video where i have taught the steps all the links will be in the description next you will need to install all the dependencies before compiling the cpu miner and in order to download the dependencies you will need to run the following code the code will be sudo apt install automake autoconf package config libcurl 4 open ssl dev and all such other packages along with libgmp3 dev and tmux so tmux is not a dependency as such but i'll show you at the end why we need it so importantly now hit enter and it will ask for a password install it as normally as you do so now i have already done it to check if all the packages are, are available in orange pi zero and as you can see all the packages are available and they are already installed now once you install those uh, you will have to get the cpu miner code from the github repository so in order to do that uh, first create a directory so i will be creating a directory mkdir cpu mine and then cd into cpu mine so after that you will need to clone by using the code git clone and this github repository so you can see it is uh, my name harsh gandhi so it's my repository where i have forked the code for wolf m7m cpu miner hit enter and it will start cloning into the folder cpu mine all right now it's done uh, we can see the folder wolf m7m cpu miner is over here so now cd into wolf folder and then first what we need to do is run autogen.sh so in order to do that use dot slash autogen.sh and hit enter it will take some time to generate all the dependencies in order to compile the final code 
if there are a few warnings uh, don't worry about that uh, just go ahead with the next step so now we need to configure the package but before configuring we also need to assign the neon vfpv4 M mfpu so in order to do that uh, you will use the code c flag equal to dash o2 this is capital o and 2 then mfpu neon vfpv4 then space and dot slash configure hit enter and it will start checking every file which is available all right so now we have done this and as you can see here it has uh, done creating the make file and also a make file in m7 which we need to edit so use your favorite editor whichever it is i'll be using vim and then make file now here search for march and as you can see over here it is written march equal to native so we need to modify this uh, orange pi 0 has the h2 plus chip and h2 plus chip is built on cortex a7 arm processor so we'll edit this march native and write mcpu equal to cortex dash a7 and then write and save and again go to uh, again edit the m7 slash make file again here search for march then remove all the march code and write m c p u equal to cortex dash a7 then save and exit now that we are in the parent directory of wolf m7 m cpu minor and we have made the changes to uh, both the make files that are important to us uh, we'll run the command make this should compile your cpu minor ignore warnings if any as it is showing mcpu cortex a7 conflicts so just ignore this and if there are errors you may have missed out the dependencies so try again with the dependencies that i have already told you about now that we are all set up minor wise we need to start mining but hold on don't think of solo mining unless you feel very lucky Instead, join one of the pools provided on mcore.org. I have joined xmg.supernova.cc. Create a workover there and run the following command in your Wolf M7M CPU minor directory. So the code will be something like this, where you are writing dot slash minor d dash a m7m hash. This is the algorithm. Then o is the link. Uh, so it will be stratum plus uh, tcp supernova and then port number then you will be user that will be web login worker name and worker password so now i will show you the actual code that i run and the hash rate that i achieve if i run my code you can see that uh, it has bound the four threads uh, 0 1 2 and 3 to the four cpu cores and four minor threads have been started using m7m hash algorithm and it has uh, started stratum on the server the url which we provided so this shows us that our mining has started and if we wait for some time then the hash rates will also start to appear on the screen okay so now as you can see the hash rates have started and each core provides about 0.99 kilo hash per second or 0.98 uh, it may hover from 0.7 kilo hash to 0.99 kilo hash per second uh, i have never seen it go beyond that 
and as you can see one block has also been accepted from my side so i will just uh, stop the mining operation over here and clear the screen all right so we have successfully started mining on our orange pi zero i won't be covering the proof of stake right now since you will need a solo mining device for it but once you have generated enough Maggie coins, you can easily search for it so that the mine coins mine even more for you. Basically what happens is you will set up a solo mining on your main computer and transfer all the Maggie coins from your pool to your main computer wallet address and start the solo mining. Now time for bonus tips. Run mining in a TMUX session. If you just SSH into your system just as I have done and then run the mining command and leave the mining will halt as soon as you leave instead if you start mining in a tmux session so you start the tmux and hit enter and now you can see the tmux session has started with the session 0 in bash and now if you start running the miner d command like this then it will start binding all the threads and uh, start mining and once you start mining you can easily exit the tmux session without closing it by using ctrl b and then leaving ctrl and then pressing d this will detach you from the tmux session and you can very easily connect to the tmux session by using tmux attach and as you can see we are back into our tmux session second tip Put your orange pi zero in a cold place. The CPU heats up a lot and might throttle. I keep it in my balcony at night where it's about 16 degrees Celsius and the CPU temperature hovers to 70 degrees Celsius but does not throttle. As you can see I have started the ambient monitor and it's running at about 67 degrees. I have just started the mining operation and it's already reached 67, 68 degrees. Cooling your orange pi zero is a very good practice to perform. Third option. Do some power savings by disabling your HDMI GPU Ethernet port if using Wi-Fi and, wi and Wi-Fi if using Ethernet. USB port since it will be a headless operation anyway. All this can be done using the H3 consumption tool available on Ambient. So all you need to do is type sudo h3 consumption and then dash p and it will show you what all active settings are there. So the CPU is allowed to uh, go up to 1 to double zero megahertz and 1 to double zero megahertz is possible or four cores are activated. The DRAM is set to 624 megahertz. So I have deliberately set up the DRAM frequency to a higher value which will help our uh, mining operations better. Then I have also switched off the HDMI GPU, switched off the USB ports and as you can see there is no Ethernet showing up just the WLAN 0 that is because I am using the wireless uh, Wi-Fi and which means that I don't need to waste power on Ethernet. So if you want to know how to set up all these uh, features then you can type a sudo h3 consumption dash h and it will show you. So you can type dash g off to turn off the gpu and then dash d and then space 624 to increase the dram frequency and then dash u off to turn off the usb ports and dash e off to disable the ethernet all right so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching have a great time mining take care bye bye